I'm Elke Gerards. Hey, um, so I'm Neil Perkins. So I'm Gerard Leonhardt. When we look at the figures of burnout, it's evident that 14% of the employees are suffering from symptoms of burnout. My talk today has been on e-health um, and about e-mental health, how we can develop and offer uh, online interventions for treating people with psychological problems such as depression or anxiety when people have suffered from childhood abuse for example. So creating the bridge between uh, psychology and the internet. So uh, I think my final point um, which I made at the end of my presentation was about uh, embedding a culture of agility into your organization. I think this is something which many organizations are struggling with right now is, is with all the different channels and with all the kind of responsiveness that you need and how you need to adapt to what's going on on the fly, um, so real time. Um, but also just embedding a more of a culture of experimentation into the business. The atomization, for example, of conversation, earned media, and how you can pull that into owned media assets and push it back out again in the form of testimonials or whatever into uh, paid for media. I think the most important thing is that uh, you either have to change or you're going to become irrelevant. Business as usual is truly dying, truly dying, and this is, I'm not just saying this for effect. Airlines are now looking at their business model and saying, what's going to happen in the next five years? People are happy to fly. But in five years, it's very likely that you have to pay carbon deduction reduction ticket the same price in the purchase of the, of the flying. I think the 70-20-10 model that I talked about at the end of the presentation is useful. So 70% of stuff that isn't broken, that you know works, and just keep doing that. But 20% uh, should optimize off what's working in the 70%, and 10% should be dedicated to just new stuff, so experimentations. And that applies to budgets and resourcing, to uh, uh, just about your content and, and uh, other approaches as well. But you know, starting with banking, to where you have a trust crisis, you know. So if you want to remain relevant as a bank today, you know, the mobile companies are getting into mobile payments, and the other companies are starting to approach financial transactions. So you have to win the trust back, and you have to do that now because if you don't win the trust of the consumer back, as a bank. There won't be, but you won't be doing any banking in five years because it's going to be the likes of eBay and Google and Amazon and doing that part that you used to do. So that's you can't really afford to wait for that to happen and then repair it. You have to be proactive. But it has been great to create a bridge between uh, my psychology and uh, the internet and uh, discuss that with the people here. The thing I see is, is there's a lot of uh, hunger to learn. I think people are really enthusiastic to kind of learn about what's going on in this space and, and also to take the kind of knowledge and, and make changes within their own businesses and take that back to, to kind of affect things and, and do things differently and start to kind of work in a different way and hopefully we've been able to kind of inspire people to do that a bit today.